search doors with COVID-19. Until now, there are more than 60 million confirmed cases and 1.4 million people have lost their lives. Then, what is the reason for these disasters? All Catholic and Christian leaders of the world must consider this question. It is because all problems and answers of life are in the Bible. The Bible states the reasons why disasters come upon the earth. In 615 BC, God spoke through prophet Jeremiah about the reason. From Jeremiah 6 verse 19, Hear earth, behold, I am bringing disaster on this people, the fruit of their plans because they have not listened to my words. And as for my law, they have rejected it also. Regarding our worship to God, Leviticus 22 verse 21 to 22 says, When someone offers a sacrifice of peace offerings to the Lord to fulfill a special vow or for a voluntary offering of the herd or of the flock, it must be without defect to be accepted. There shall be no defect in it. Those that are blind, fractured, maimed, or have a wart, a festering rash, or scabs, you shall not offer to the Lord, nor make of them an offering by fire on the altar to the Lord. We were to give perfect offerings without defect, but in reality, we gave lame and sick sacrifices instead. People did not honor or fear Father God as written in Malachi 1 verse 6 to 9. This sin has led the whole world to receive God's punishment. Pestilence is God's sword. The ones most impacted were religious groups, including Christianity and Catholic churches. The disease spreads through droplets of saliva from the mouth, so gathering inside a church has now been perceived as a major hotspot for infections. Churches were forced to stop meeting face-to-face -face for worship. God has been punishing the churches with COVID-19, but Christians did not understand and return to God. So God has threshed the churches through investigative journalism. The state of Christianity now is how it was already described in 1 Peter 4, verse 17 to 18. For it is time for judgment to begin with the household of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is with difficulty that the righteous is saved, what will become of the godless man and the sinner? Hereby, the reason why the church, which is the household of God, was judged first, was clearly revealed. Some pastors are so presumptuous that they are committing the sin of Jeroboam by making common people become priests. Jeroboam was the first king of the northern kingdom of Israel who made common people who were not Levites into priests if they volunteered even though they should not have become priests. This was a fatal sin against God that led to the destruction of Jeroboam from the face of the earth. God said in Matthew 19 verse 23, It is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. In Luke 16 verse 13, he clearly said, you cannot serve God and wealth. But there are pastors who still chase after money. They say, Jesus, Jesus with their mouth. Yet they preach lies differing from the Bible by using the Bible. They speak of worldly things. An example, such as anyone can go to heaven if he just attended church. These lies made people unaware of the one husband, Jesus Christ, and completely blind to the first husband, Father God. So how can God accept their worship? That is why God said He would rather shut the temple gates. God will not wait any longer. You must come out of such churches now. If you live a religious lifestyle while continually saying amen to demonic teachings, you will not go to heaven by believing in Jesus, but fall into eternal punishment of hell. God has been striking the churches across the world with the COVID-19 pandemic, and no one knows when it will end. But the shepherds who lack understanding say, 
that it is not a punishment from God, because God is love and He does not discipline. To such pastors who only comfort with empty words, God said that He will go against such pastors. In Jeremiah 6, verse 13 to 15, For from the least of them, even to the greatest of them, everyone is greedy for gain, and from the prophet, even to the priest, everyone deals falsely. They have healed the brokenness of my people superficially, saying, peace, peace, but there is no peace. Were they ashamed because of the abomination they have done? They were not even ashamed at all. They did not even know how to blush. Therefore, they shall fall among those who fall. At the time that I punish them, they shall be cast down, says the Lord. According to this word, God judges on this day so that they shall be cast down. This day is the universal day of judgment, the end of the entire ages of time that God had permitted to these evildoers. Why is this happening? Is this just a coincidence? Not at all. First, it was a time for scripture to imprison everyone under sin, so everyone practiced lawlessness. All kinds of long-hidden corruption of the religious leaders are exposed now because this age is the last days for the wicked ones in the church. It is the latter days when Satan, devil, and demons are judged. It is because the another helper, the spirit of truth whom Jesus promised to send in his name became flesh and has come in reality. Now is the universal seventh day the day of the Lord, the day of the Son of Man, and the day of judgment for the wicked. On this day, the another helper, the spirit of truth, Reverend Okjushin, has come to guide us into all the truth so that the leaders will no longer teach lies differing from the Bible and the congregation will no longer believe in the lies. By interpreting the Bible with the Bible, she's revealing this mystery which had been hidden from the past ages and generations, which is the truth. Just as Jesus came as a real person, the spirit of truth too has to come as a real person. Even though the word of God was fulfilled for us to believe, the self-proclaimed pastors and Christians do not believe the word of God. It is because of their rebellion against God that the COVID-19 disaster is not ending. This is the pestilence, the sword of the Lord that God himself is using to punish people. The only way to be free from this is to stop preaching lies differing from the Bible, stop believing in the lies, and come out of the churches that have become a home for demons. You must turn to the eternal gospel, to the word of the new covenant, and turn away from all your lawlessness and unrighteousness. Grace Row Podcast, full audio version available at Podbean and Apple Podcast.